Hey there friends, just a quick video of the lunar eclipse that I shot in Cape Town, South Africa. I shot it with the 100-400 lens on a crop sensor, A6500, and I also used the teleconverter on the crop sensor to get even more of a reach. So I hope this video helps. There's some quick tips on how to shoot something like the lunar eclipse, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. What is up guys, it's Jason Linear here. I am in Cape Town, South Africa, and here for a very special event. I'm doing some Sony events, but on top of that, it just happens to be a lunar eclipse, which is amazing because as many of you may know, I captured a total solar eclipse less than a year ago, and now I get to go do the lunar eclipse. So uh, I've been shooting upstairs. I'm on the rooftop of the hotel where we're at here at the Radisson Red, which is a great hotel. I have the uh, camera set on the Sony A6500 with the 100-400 G Master and I'm getting some great shots so I'm going to share some tips with you of how I did this, some tips for how to do lunar shots and I hope it helps, it's going to be amazing. Thank you brother. I had so much questions. People are asking me how to put it, I'm like, well, oh, I'm just a caretaker. <laughs> just a caretaker. Thank you my friend. No problem. Alright, so I'm going to uh, show you the back of the camera here. This is A6500, it's doing some really cool stuff. I have the camera set up on 1.6 seconds at 5.6, which is the maximum aperture when it's zoomed all the way in. ISO 400. Now, I could go with a longer shutter, but if I go with a longer shutter, uh, it leaves the it leaves it open too long and I actually get some vibration and I've done some tests with and without so it actually works best like this. It's going to do three shots after 10 seconds so I do it on the self timer so there's no vibration from my hand moving around and we'll show you what we get. That's pretty ridiculous right there. So cool. So there's kind of a viewing party for this. Uh, my friends here at the Radisson Red have given me and all of the guests here uh, blankets. So it's really cool. So I, because I get cold super easy, which is why I'm always wearing a jacket. So having a blanket is super cool. It's going to be total lunar eclipse in about 10 minutes. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So again, to reiterate, I have um, camera on self timer to mitigate uh, vibration from my hands. I have it on 5.6, which is the maximum aperture with this lens zoomed all the way in. And uh, I've got it at ISO 400, which isn't much. And then I've got it on 1.6 seconds. I, I actually went up to like four seconds and then Drop my ISO all the way down to 400 or 100, and it, it wasn't as sharp. So, just so you guys know, that's this is the combination that I found. Part of it could just be the moon moving because every shot that I take, the moon is moving. Super thrilled, I feel honored that I've gotten to shoot the total solar eclipse. I'll share a few pictures of that. Uh, less than a year ago, 11 months ago in Wyoming, shoot in the United States, and now I get to shoot the total lunar eclipse less than a year later here in Cape Town, South Africa. It's awesome. So, life is great. <laughs> so, I've become very popular. People are taking pictures of the back of my camera. It's the only way to get friends at a party like this. Just gorgeous. Let's take a look at it. Sorry, my man. Can I take a picture of that, please? <laughs> you could take a, well, not of a close-up of it, no. But you could take a picture of, of like, you know, what I'm doing. Oh, no, but that's cool. I just don't want the flash to go off and stuff. So this was a very special night where you could actually get a great shot of Mars. So if you guys take a look at this, this is at 100 millimeters where you see the moon in the left bottom of the image and you see Mars in the top right. So here are some shots of the moon uh, of the eclipse as it started to occur. You'll see that the moon gets darker and darker. The, the colors get more and more vibrant leading up to the full blood moon which is right here what you're seeing. This is the full blood moon. Deep oranges, full coverage, no white areas, no light areas. And then as the blood moon ended and the eclipse started to dissipate, uh, you start to see more of the white circle, the white uh, ring around is starting to come out and uh, start to see the more natural colors of the moon uh, 
exhibit themselves. All right. So now my man Pedro brought the 1.4 teleconverter and we put it on the A6000 or 6500. Now it's, it's dropped the light from 5.6 to F8, but now we're getting a lot closer. So there's some really cool shots. So I had a follower who was at the hotel with me who offered to let me use his teleconverter and we did for these shots and I think they turned out really, really well. So using a teleconverter on a crop sensor with a full frame lens gets you a really far reach, which is awesome. I think this is like an equivalent 840. It's ridiculous. Uh, not the most light at F8, but it does have a lot of reach and I really like how they turned out. Hi, my man from here, Rajiv from Sony Africa. Hi. Do you want to introduce yourself? No, I don't know. I'm so happy that you are using 6500. <laughs> I, I, I'm totally happy I'm using 6500 here, so we're out here doing events for Sony and we're able to come out here and shoot this tonight, which is amazing. Thank you, Rajiv. Thank you. So finish up shooting here. Gonna go back so we can get I can get these images up to the web to share with you guys, but thank you for watching. Worked out really well and the teleconverter worked out really well. Pedro, you want to say hello one more time? Thanks again to my man Pedro for letting me borrow his teleconverter. This man flew all the way from Angola to see me. <laughs> it's true. It's a true story, and I am so grateful. Thank you. So he's here for the Sony events, and he, he's going to stick around and do some training with me. But uh, thank you, brother. It's a pleasure. It's very nice to be here. It's really looking forward to more pictures again. Thank you, brother. So you know how I end my videos? So until next time, keep shooting. You only have one chance to get it right? Yeah, but <laughs> never give up on your dreams. Find our kid that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. That's right, baby. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, brother. Thank you guys for watching. Out. All right, this is a cool place to shoot. Get the gear out. Let's, um, this is awesome. Huh? Let me have your stuff. That's what you get for not putting me in a magazine. You Oh, I hate balls. And take your stupid camera too. One handed baby. Ooh, spending money. Right. She's totally not going on our next trip. <laughs> oh! Is that the money I want to I want Jess to get it right. Are you still there? talking to you. If you want to continue this madness online and learn anywhere from the world with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography. And if you want to join this madness, and yes, my crazy but awesome models, go to jasonlinear.com slash register and you guys can party and shoot with us anywhere in the world. So until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Allie, where's my money? Allie? She freaking left.